You may have noticed that in the on-entry assessment uh, questions, there are questions about uh, subitizing, there's questions about which is the larger number, there's questions about the sequence of numbers and, and missing numbers within that sequence. Now that's no fluke. The designers of these tests understand that there are some fundamental ideas that children need to uh, get under their belt and they are often strong predictors of whether you'll have trouble with mathematics later on. So let's take one example, subitizing. Now subitizing simply means that you can look at a glance at uh, a pattern and be able to say it without counting. Now the psychologists are a bit uncertain about you know, whether they, you can do that for three or four, but they're pretty certain about four. Later on you can subitize larger numbers because you get better at it and you can hold more in your head. So this game here is designed for one purpose. It's designed for people to look at when children spin this three, are they counting three or can they actually see three? So in this game here you spin and if it's rain you go down the downpipe, it's basically an incy wincy spider game. If it's sunshine you move up. But if I was talking to a parent or an educational assistant, I'd want them to note whether my children have to count that three or whether they can see that three. Most children shouldn't have any difficulty with that. But now and again you'll find some that do and it's worthwhile information because we need to work on that. Now there were two other key things that come up in this on-entry assessment. One is that number sequence and uh, knowing where the missing number is and we've looked at a game, uh, the one about the dinosaur game, focused on that idea. And another one was the idea of understanding which is the larger number, for example six or three. You might remember when we looked at the uh, work with the dominoes, one of the tasks that we did was build the, uh, the towers and to focus on which is the larger number. Now they are very, three very strong predictors you'll have trouble with mathematics. Another strong predictor is your working memory and that's a much larger topic. And a fifth strong predictor is by toward the end of year two how fluent you are with your basic uh, addition and subtraction facts. And that ties in very nicely with the progression that's suggested in the new Australian curriculum.